All right, guys, so this one's a little different, I, uh, and I don't know what to expect. So for Ignite, we, we have these um, um, dress rehearsals, and we, we practice, but our next speaker, he's real vague, and he would never really let us know what he had in mind. So this, I, I don't know what to expect. He told me I need to make some room, so that's kind of frightening, so let me do that. Okay, I think this is probably something that you've never seen done at Ignite before. Let me read the bio now. This guy is a true man of mystery. Seriously, he is. He has multiple graduate degrees, multiple professional certif certifications, uh, multiple professions. He's been an author, a missionary, a professional speaker, a minister, a hedge fund manager, and he specializes in the power of astonishment. I feel like he needs his own theme music when he comes on. Uh, I refer to him as the artist formerly known as Todd Seleni because his, his new title, this is what he goes by now, is the great Toddini. time Oops. that you've truly been astonished. I want to make you believe in the power of astonishment. I want to make you believe in the impossible actually being possible. I want to make you believe that things are not always as they appear. But the truth is, I can't make you believe in anything. But I can show you the fun and fabulous feeling of what it's like to really experience astonishment. Now, when you look at this slide, name a superhero. Name one of your favorite superheroes. Okay, there was two people out there that I asked to come on stage. Can you guys come on up here and uh, give them a round of applause as they're coming up here? One person loves superheroes and the other person really loves fashion. So as they're coming up, look at this slide here. You have Muhammad Ali. You have Frodo. And you have King Arthur and the pharaohs of Egypt. What do they all have in common? Every one of them had a magician as a private advisor. Frodo had Gandalf. King Arthur had Merlin. Muhammad Ali had Terry Lasorda, which was Tommy Lasorda's brother. All of them had a magician as one of their closest advisors. Now, you, sir, you, you love superheroes. Who do you love? Okay. Um, could, would you stand right here? Uh, Cheris, how do you? Krithi. Come on over here on this side. Now, I've got a gift for you. I mean, it, it's just for coming up, but this is, I kind of thought you were going to say Superman, but here's a <laughs> Superman gift. Go ahead and open that. Wow. Yeah, there. That, nice little balloon. Now, you love fashion, right? Okay. Now, I was really hoping he'd uh, uh, say Spider-Man, the Spider-Man balloon there. But one of my favorite, one of my favorite superheroes is Wolverine. And actually, I just want you to have a Coca-Cola. So you give him a round of applause. Come on up here. Thank you for coming on up here. Now, a little technical difficulty. Did some things fall off there? Would you grab those slides right there, or that stack of papers? Yeah, and hopefully keep them together. Okay. Well, hopefully they are together. We're going to see what happens here. We improvise all the time. Now, can you come on over here? I'm going to give you, uh, now you like fashion. How do I look in this? I even have my own design. This is called ta-da. You know, magicians have been spelling this word wrong for years upon years. But we're going to go through a couple of slides. Can you read? You can. Okay. I just wanted to make that. Okay. Okay, good. Hopefully I can too. Where's my slides? Okay. Just as a... Uh, uh, diagnostic here. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, th this slide. Audience, can you read that? Okay, don't say the word. You can read that. Say that word. Okay, good. Now, what I want you to do, you're probably able to read at the age of four. 
So what I want you to do is count backwards from seven, six, five, four, go. Done. Now, at that age, you probably couldn't read. It was a little difficult to read. So if you would, would you mind actually just saying this word right here? Audience, can you read that? Okay, don't say it. Can you read that word? Hilarious. Wow, you can read. And this word? Okay, an audience, you can read that as well. Good. Now, there's another one that just... Okay, now that's kind of self-gratuitous, but for a second there, you do have the ability to read. You wouldn't want the ability to be blind, as one of our speakers told us a little bit early. It's a gift when you have your senses actually ignited and you're living in those senses. Now, I need your fashion sense for a second here. Does, um, does this look good, better, tucked in or out or... Do I look okay with this? Out like this? Okay, because sometimes I can't decide whether to tuck it in. But, sir, what was your, um, Joshua, you came up here. What was your favorite superhero? Batman, your favorite, like all-time favorite? Yeah, I, I, I like that guy too. I think um, he's a pretty good superhero, right like that. Now, really, when you are in a place where you're kind of living in astonishment, you can make things happen, just like a steel pop. There's a little gift for you, just to enjoy. Give her a round of applause for coming on up here. The, the power of astonishment. To be truly astonished, we become alive. I want to invite you into the land of make-believe. I want to make you believe in the power of astonishment. I want you to know that when you aim for astonishment, You'll be remembered, you'll be remarkable, and you'll even refresh others. And there was another closing moment that I had, but it disappeared on stage. So give the great Tadini a round of applause.